Good morning, everybody. We are officially in Ketchikan. We just docked, uh, just pulled in, which is really cool. Uh, a very different scene here than when we left Seattle. It's extremely cloudy. It's in the low 50s. The high today is like 59. And uh, we are doing a photo safari. And uh, we're going to be blogging, blog, blah, 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 blogging on our phones. I haven't had coffee yet. Um, because I'm going to be walking around with this thing. Look at this. It almost doesn't fit. It's so big. Um, trying to get some really great photos today. So I'm super excited. Uh, it's 530 in the morning. Taylor's barely up and moving. Uh, and uh, I'm just running off of adrenaline and excitement at the moment. So I'm going to go get some coffee. <sighs> So up on uh, deck 15, which is the running track and uh, getting like that nice bird's eye view of Ketchikan in the port. And as we pulled in, the clouds right now are, are pretty low um, to the tree line and, and to the mountains. And so just kind of like looking around, you just see what looks like, oh, it's not that big. But then as uh, some of the clouds begin to clear uh, in the distance, you see uh, some nice kind of reveals of, uh, of a much bigger uh, range of mountains here, which is kind of cool. So we've got one over here on the other side of the ship that's beginning to break through. But <clears throat> um, this is uh, this is awesome. Like uh, I know Taylor's for the first time is we're in like an opposite situation of being up early and, and being super excited to get off the ship. Like I am like pumped and uh, I can't wait. Taylor's still trying to roll out of bed. All right, so Taylor and I finally got breakfast. Uh, they were holding us up saying that it's at capacity, but here at the back of the ship, the very back, if you look around, uh, there's actually still quite a few tables that are open, um, which is kind of crazy. So well, we've got an excellent view this morning uh, while we eat breakfast. I already saw a bunch of eagles, which is really cool. And uh, we've got to eat and head downstairs to meet up for our uh, excursion today. So we are making our way to the Royal Theater. That is our meeting spot. Josh has got his big lens there. Mine's in my bag. And we're gonna go get ready to check in for our photo safari. I'll tell you the craziest thing this morning has been seeing what everybody's wearing because we're so used to doing cruises where it's warm and hot weather even and so now being somewhere where it's cold it's crazy to see what everybody wears so it's raining already which it's is not very, good very very I, I know but that's not good so we got to look for number four i see every other number besides four you find him he's got a hat on oh cool he's ready to rock and roll Morning, sir. Hello. Good morning. You're with me. I yes. think so. You guys have tickets? Yes, sir. Two. Okay. What? So we're expecting three more. Okay. Oh, wow. That's Small it. Five. Okay. Sounds good, though. Looks like you both have real cameras. Yeah, me I have too. my other lens in my bag, too. Are you uh, packing cell phones as well? Yes. Yes. Welcome to the modern world. <laughs> yes. When he asked if we were packing cell phones, I did become a little worried. Taylor and I definitely went into this excursion with the wrong perception of what we would experience. And just so everybody knows, this excursion today cost Taylor and I $150 per person. So that's a lot. But we went with our photo safari guide right off the ship, which was really nice and convenient. And once everyone showed up, which was a small group, we made our way to start our tour. And after a short little drive, we stopped at our first location and got a little bit more of an explanation of what we would experience uh, for the rest of this excursion here in Ketchikan.
kiosk, boom, 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 we've got a fisherman catching king salmon. And you may just think he's fishing there. No. Uh, a friend of mine has been catching one or two fish there every day for the last week. Can you just hear it? Yeah. Oh my god. That's, that's what I was saying so this morning. Cool. Right, right there, right there. That's a adolescent, I think, looks like. So we're on our photo safari here in Ketchikan, which is kind of cool. Uh, not exactly what I expected it to be so far, but we have a really awesome tour guide, uh, Rob. He's uh, very funny. Uh, and I think what's kind of cool is that uh, so far, whether you're a beginner photographer or a more experienced one, he's uh, always trying to give you some tips and tricks to be better, which is uh, really cool. And he's got years of experience, which is uh, really nice. So we've seen some eagles and we're checking out some more historical stuff in Ketchikan. Hey everybody, if you are enjoying this Alaskan series, you want to maybe take an Alaskan cruise yourself, make sure that you head on over to goldgalegetaways.com to start planning your next vacation, your next Royal Caribbean cruise, to alaska i'm telling you you will not be disappointed and if you're enjoying the group aspect uh you know want to come hang out make some new friends make sure that you send me an email and join us on our next group cruise to the mediterranean it's going to be so much fun and just like this um you know you're going to make some new friends and uh, have one of the best times of your life so uh sorry for the interruption but yeah it's amazing Go to Alaska, everybody, go! I, I do, but here's the choice our business has to make. Are we gonna take you to seven or eight locations where we're gonna see awesome things? Yes. Or yeah. invest three hours to maybe see a bear? So, yeah. uh, Fingers crossed, so we'll just we don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. It, because it, when you don't see it there, it, you, it winds up being a huge disappointment. Uh, yeah. No, that's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right this way, guys. Three and a half weeks on Kodiak Island, not one Kodiak Island. Oh, so we've uh, stopped at our second place here. I think you called it the Flowing River? Flowing Water. For the rest of this tour, I will say that it was nice just to be able to see, I think, a lot of Ketchikan that probably most people don't tend to see. Um, however, it just wasn't as maybe majestic or, s I mean, this is scenic, but probably not what we had in our mind's eye of what we were gonna see on this photo safari tour. But all in all, um, you know, we still got to see some cool stuff. We got to see a lot of eagles. And uh, at the end of the day, we learned a lot of culture and history, uh, you know, about Ketchikan, which is really kind of nice. And I think is a little bit different and really kind of gives back to the people here. You know, um, it's not always glitz and glam, but uh, a real appreciation for, uh, for the town. So, yeah. And uh, we're meeting up with some friends. So we are finished with our photo safari excursion and our friends found this little place called 108 Tap House and Burger Bar. So there are a bunch of us here. We're going to be having lunch. This is a very small little place, but they have got a bunch of beers on tap. They got a really large full bar. Um, and I just love how it feels in here. It's like a pretty awesome little place. So we're going to get some burgers and enjoy some lunch here in Ketchikan. So 108 Tap House here uh, doesn't open up until 11. And when we got here, because it's super busy, it's very, very small. There's a long line going out the door. Luckily, we were able to get seated, which is kind of nice. Um, burgers here look fantastic. Just looking at the menu, we're going to see obviously once we order them. But also, they have some really good looking appetizers as well. So it's cool. I mean, this is literally just the space uh, from, from the doorway to that wall. We've got the bar behind me, and they're literally making all the food right over here in the corner. So it is tiny. Um, and if you're interested, Get here early and wait in line. Burgers I thought were absolutely fantastic. We were gonna get uh, poutine as an appetizer, but uh, our server, also bartender, had said, you know, if you get it as an appetizer, it's gonna take like twice as long. We can do it as a side. And uh, I thought that was great. And so we got that as a side for my burger. It was awesome. Really great place. If you're gonna go, make sure you get there early. Otherwise you're gonna be waiting in a line because the line when we left was going all the way out the door uh, almost about to wrap, wrap around the corner. So um, a lot of really great craft beers on tap. 
Uh, I don't drink beers, but they had a great cider, so I did that, and then of course some really amazing cocktails. All right, so we finished our tour from earlier today, but our friends, Todd and Debbie, Kate and Zach, have also got an excursion, not really, but uh, they're gonna do the Lumberjack show, and so Todd asked us if we were interested in going. We came down to see if they still have some tickets left, so we are actually gonna do the Lumberjack show because when you come to Catch a Can, apparently this is something that you have to do. So uh, let's go find out if it's really worth it and if it's a lot of fun. Oh, Taylor, look Look at that lumberjack out there. Is he swooning over that guy? No, they're a little small. What? They're a little scrawny. He's eating So what what was everybody's thoughts? I thought it was amazing. Those guys, I mean, think how hard it's got to be to learn how to do that. I mean, those guys were just, I don't know, I could barely walk, so. <laughs> <laughs> those guys were running running around on logs and chopping things up. I Some of it. the best jokes I ever heard in my life. <laughs> Corny jokes, cute show. Uh, yeah, the corniness of it all is what I like. That's uh -huh. That to me is just good old American fun. So we just finished eating dinner uh, for Debbie's birthday, which was a lot of fun. We were at uh, Chop's Grill again, and uh, some great food. Oh, hey. Hi. We are making our way north, heading to uh, Skagway. And the captain had made an announcement about getting to see like Whitecap Mountains, I think, something like that. Um, unfortunately, it's uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of views. Um, it's super cloudy out right now, which as you guys can see behind me, uh, doesn't make for a lot of really cool, uh, great landscape stuff. But I will tell you that like it is still there's still a strange kind of feeling that comes with it. Um, it's still really cool to kind of just be going through and it's just, all you see is just white. It's just all clouds um, as we make our way through. I have yet to see a whale out here. Hopefully soon we'll see one, maybe tomorrow. Definitely when we're in Juno. But uh, yeah, not a lot to see. Uh, as you guys can see, as you, as you look out here, it's just nothing but clouds right now. Oh, Taylor's gonna be so...